guys! So today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be showing you my bathing suit collection. Yeehaw! I'm gonna talk about all my favorite two-piece bathing suits. To forewarn you, they are all kind of mix and matchy. I think that you should kind of have that philosophy when you're wearing bikinis or any kind of two-piece anyway because for me personally, it's so much cheaper to find like a really neutral bottom or a neutral top and then pop with like crazy prints elsewhere. So a lot of my bathing suits that I'm gonna show you guys are kind of the same tone of things. Like for instance, I have one bottom that goes with two bikini tops. Uh, so it's like, I can wear whatever I want with them. So without further ado, let's get into my favorite bikini bathing suits. Let's do it. So first things first, I'm gonna talk about my most recent bikini purchase and that one is this lovely baby uh, that I bought in Europe. Uh, yeah, I literally just showed this in a haul. So um, looks like you haven't seen it enough. So here it is again, yeah. So I realized the reason why I thought this looked kind of European is because I watch a lot of old movies. And in particular, I watched, uh, what was it called? How to Catch a Thief with Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn? No, Cary Grant and Grace Kelly, I think. Uh, I could be wrong on that one. But either way, in the um, movie, they are set in Paris or Italy. I can't even remember. It's a European country of some sorts. And uh, all the ladies are wearing two-piece and one-piece bathing suits that have this kind of bra-esque top. Like, it doesn't connect with a string in the middle. It connects down in kind of a V. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does that make any sense? It almost is reminiscent of like a bullet bra but it doesn't make your boobies look pointy, so props for that. It also has a little snap closure in the back, which I really, really love. And I like that it's in this kind of cool tropical print since that seems to be a theme for a lot of bathing suits. I also have the bottoms to that, which I really like. And if you are a girl who has trouble finding bottoms that are thick enough, I know when I grew up, my mom was like, you can't have bathing suit bottoms that are smaller than an inch, which is like, really small, but that basically meant that I wasn't allowed to wear string bikinis. Sometimes she still would be like, that bottom's a little too small, and I appreciate that now. Thank you, Mom, for not letting me be a 16-year-old showing off her coochie. Thank you. If you're one of those people that is trying to find bottoms that kind of fit your parents' standard or your own personal standard, these bottoms are awesome. I know they might not look that great maybe on camera, but I don't think any bottom does, uh, but the actual rear portion is rather large, and the sides are about an inch to two inches, no, I'd give it two inches, uh, which is great. So they almost fit kind of like a boy short, even though they don't look like it. They're great. So I uh, got those from Zara. Next bathing suit is one that I posted on Instagram. I have never actually had a black bikini before. I don't know why, but I've always kind of been like, Black, bleh, like I can't wear black. Lauren, my roommate, loves black. I do not love black all that much. I know it goes with everything, but I don't know why. It just, I'm a poppy, colorful person, and black does not always suit me. But anyways, I got a black bikini. I love how I'm showing you the butt. The butt part is not even the interesting part. This is what the top looks like, yay! This is a triangle bikini, but I can't remember for the life of me the name of this. It's neoprene that looks kind of like leather, which I really liked, and it's like a bra. Once again, I'm really into these bra type bikinis because if you look, anytime I'm out in the sun in this, uh, if I wear a t-shirt like this, there will be no like neck strappy thing. There will only be bra strappy things, so no one will see my tan lines. <laughs> Oh, sneaky. Plus I like the cool texture on it since it kind of looks like leather. And once again, even though the leather might not be exactly appropriate for your mom or dad's approval, uh, the bottoms that Triangle make are very thick on the sides and immovable, uh, which is one thing that was also big with my parents. They didn't want strings because someone could pull them, although I don't know what sadistic person would pull that. And the bottoms are very thick as well, so there's no like butt crack showing or anything of that nature. So that's a great bikini. Next bikini is a cheap alternative. This one I bought last year at Forever 21, so I don't know if you can get it anymore. You might be able to look it up. So this is what the top looks like. It's super cute and pineapple-y. I love it. And as you can see, although it has this faux cup, there's no underwire in it, so there's nothing that's gonna poke and hurt you. However, there is boning in the side, which is actually great because it keeps the bathing suit up and like propped up 
vertically, if that makes sense. And what's cool about it, it has this little ruffle down here and it actually covers up a little section of your midriff. I love how I'm getting all modest as hottest on you guys, but once again, if bikinis are kind of a struggle with your parents or your own personal standards, this is great too because it comes down a little further. Um, and the bottoms are also, eh, no, they're not that appropriate. Um, <laughs> So the bottoms look like this, and the only thing that makes them slightly inappropriate is the fact that they're cheeksters. So this little part scrunches up and gives you like a faux butt crack in the back. So flattering. Uh, but actually when you wear them, they're not that bad. So um, not exactly a faux butt crack, more like a butt ruffle. A ruffle. Yeah. But this one's cute and it was cheap. I think the bottoms were around $5 and the top might have been 9 or something like that. It was pretty cheap. Next swimsuit is probably my most frequented bikini, one that I wear all the time and I really love it. Uh, it is from Forever 21 as well and I got it the same time as my pineapple one. Uh, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is the classic halter but it racer backs in the back. So A, it gives you a really cool like crisscross tan in the back and B, it makes your boobies look very nice, okay? So uh, if you're into that kind of thing, this bathing suit is the one for you. Because it's in this like aquamarine-y color up here, or like minty green color, and then this peach down here, and with someone who is like of a fair complexion, like I am, it makes you look tan, like it faux tans you. It's great, so um, that is amazing, boost your boobies. Awesome, and the bottoms are cool too because they look like this and they've got little crisscrosses on the side So once again cool hip tan that only you will see but it'll be amusing every time you're changing clothes You'll be like oh my god that crisscross tan ha I'm so cool now I have three more items of bikini wear that are just random These are kind of the ones that I mix match into the other bikinis that I have So the first one is this little kiss top that I got from Forever 21 It's just a little bandeau and it ruffles down and it's super cute um, It doesn't have any padding in it uh, which seems like it would be a problem, but because of this ruffling, it's almost like a faux padding. So if you're one of those people that hates padding in their swimsuits, this is great for you. I know I went through a phase where I was like, ah, let my boobies free, let them breathe, and I hated the padding. So um, it's great if you're against that kind of thing. Also, this one went with my little minty bottoms with the crisscross, so that's how that ties into everything. Next, I have a rando tropical bikini bottom from Airy. Um, I wish I had more of my bathing suits from Airy to show you. They're all at home. I have a one piece from Airy that is <laughs> gorgeous. This thing is so freaking cute on. It's so great for tanning because once again it has like a littler side to it, um, but it's not like a string so it's not gonna pop off. Um, and what's cool about it is it goes with basically any top you put it with! Hey, look at that. Um, I feel like tropical prints kind of all go together. So you can pretty much mix and match them any ways that you want, uh, which is good. And then the last random bikini item is this guy. And this is what I like to call the boobulator. So, I said boob a lot this video, but we're gonna continue on. We're gonna hustle. The reason why I call it that is because this is my only push-up bathing suit. Oh. Okay, so this is deceptive. I have small boobies. When I'm swimming, sometimes I'm like, I feel insecure about my boobies and I want them to be a tiny tad bit bigger. This is where this baby comes in. So first of all, it has boning on the sides. So it supports you and cups your boobies very nicely. Uh, also, the cup itself has underwire. But because this kind of bustier bathing suit is in, it doesn't obviously look like a push-up swimsuit. Like for instance, this one has the exact same pattern on it, the same kind of motif of cupping your boobies, but uh, your jubbly wubblies will not be pushed up in this one. Uh, however, they will in this one. They will be up for the world to see, but not really. It's not like it's extreme push-up, it just makes me look like I have more than mosquito bites, okay? And the padding is actually pretty minimal, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like the standard padding for a demi-bra if that helps at all. It's not like it's gonna give you like a full cup size, but it probably like gives you like a quarter or something, or maybe a half, but it just gives you that little bit of oomph that makes you feel better about your boobies. Your woman friends, your female companions, your mosquito bites, 
you jubbly wubbly. And the grossest booby metaphor I know, milk sacks. If you want your milk sacks to look good, this is a bikini for you. Uh, also, this one's from Aerie. Yes. I found that with a lot of like um, lingerie or underwear companies, they make actually really well-fitting bathing suits. Like Victoria's Secret, I've tried out a couple of their bikinis in the past and always liked them. Uh, so, highly recommend if you're one of those people that is wanting to look for a little push-up action, that is a great company to look at, Airy and Victoria's Secret. Alright guys, so that is it for my favorite bikinis of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you to those who said you wanted to see this on my Instagram your comment was much appreciated. Don't forget to go on my Instagram and my Twitter and follow me so that you'll know when a video is being updated and you can have a say in what I'm filming. Don't forget to comment below to let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!